Ladies and gentlemen, I'm now going to show you a demo of PTV. Before we start, I'd like to remind everybody, this is a demo. This is still work in progress and many things may be subject to change. We're to begin today with an overview of the user interface components. This is the clip library where you import and manage your media. The previewer and its associated playback controls, and the timeline, where you do your actual editing. Regarding media, with PTV you can import anything supported by GStreamer as long as you have the proper plugins. Importing clips is easy. You can simply go into your folders, find your files, and drop your files onto the clip library. Or you can use the import button on the toolbar to open the file chooser dialog and select the media you want to import. Another technique is to go directly into your music player, such as Rhythmbox, and drag and drop from there. You can add clips to the timeline by simply dragging them or by using the insert key on your keyboard to insert them at the end of the timeline. PTV allows you to create as many layers as you want for audio and video clips on the timeline. Currently, this is done simply by dragging clips up and down. Layers are created and removed automatically. You can also change various settings in the user interface. You can show or hide toolbars, switch to full screen, change the global preferences such as the color of the clips, the snapping behavior, thumbnails and waveforms, etc. You can also adjust the project settings to set the native resolution, the frame rate, and the preferred audio and video codecs. This PTV release allows you to edit basic movies by importing, trimming, splitting, and rendering your clips. For example, let's say I want to take out the sound that comes with certain clips and put music instead. I can select the clips, unlink the audio and the video, and remove the unneeded audio parts. Then, I can add some music in its place. I can zoom into the timeline by using the control key and the mouse wheel, or move around in the timeline using the mouse wheel. I can split clips by using the razor tool, or hitting the control R shortcut key. Notice how the razor snaps to the playhead for added precision. I can use the spacebar keyboard shortcut to play and pause playback. Use the left and right arrow keys to scrub in the timeline. Use shift and right left keys to scrub in increments of one second. Or control and right left keys to jump between clips. I can also scrub the timeline by dragging the playhead over the ruler. When I'm done editing my project, I can render the timeline. To do so, use the Render button, edit the encoder settings if you want something different from the global settings, choose a file name, and start rendering. This concludes the feature overview for this release. Effects and transitions are currently being worked on and are expected to appear by the next release. I was also told that it was relatively trivial to implement, so if you have some spare time to play with PTV, you can make it happen much faster.
Look forward to the next Cracktastic improvements in our next release, or join in and make it even better.